everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do my August favourites because it is now the middle of September and I have yet to actually sit down and make this video. So I thought I would just bite the bullet and do it already. I have tried to include a little bit of high street makeup brands and high end beauty brands. So people seem to like that where I include sort of more affordable pieces. So I'm just gonna get started before I start rambling. So the first beauty product that I have absolutely been loving is a powder. And this is a matte fusion press powder from Kiko Milano. I don't actually have too many products from Kiko Milano. And I think the only reason is because the store in Belfast is so tiny. Like it's always so busy going in that like you're like a little sardine in there. So I managed to like pick up a few bits and pieces whenever the store first opened, but it is just so busy in there that like I can't, I can't seem to see anything that I really, really like. The few things I do have are, I do actually really, really like. So the first one is a, the powder that I was saying. So this is it here. It's just a matte powder in the shade 01. And it comes with a little, what is this called? A little pad thing and a mirror. And I've just been using this to set my makeup recently. So I haven't actually been using it as like a face powder, I've just been using it to set my makeup and I think it works really really well as a setting powder. So that is my first favourite of August. The next thing is another product from Kiko and I only seem to use this product whenever I have just got my eyebrows done because that's whenever like it works best for me. And it is a Kiko Milano Perfect Eyes Dew or Highlighter Pencil. So basically at either end, it looks like this. And they're basically highlighting pencils, which work really, really well for defining out your brow bone and sort of carving out your eyebrows. So you get a sort of, if I can, I don't know how well this will come up on camera. You get two different so you get a sort of a very pale one and a slightly darker one so it's perfect for all skin colours for defining that your bone. I've been using the paler end obviously because I'm slightly paler skinned and it just works so good for carving out your eyebrows. It highlights your brow bone as well which is really really good so I would definitely recommend this because I don't think I've seen anything else similar to this leave me a comment if you have something similar to this that isn't from Kiko um, I'd love to love to try out some other brands of this because I absolutely love this next up are some Tanya Burr products that I have been reaching for a lot and I mean a lot first one is a blush and this is the Illuminate Empire in Peonies please this is gorgeous look at that can we just take a minute to appreciate this because this is so flipping stunning, it's unbelievable. So I have been using this like every time I have been putting on makeup as my blush. It's so, it's so soft, it's so light. It's just, it's such a beautiful blush and it's so affordable. I think this is maybe about six pounds, six fifty at the most. And the other two that are in this range as well, which is the highlighter and the bronzer are also stunning. So if you haven't had a chance to go and look at these or pick these up, definitely get on it because I absolutely love these illuminating powders. The other time for a product that I've been loving is a lipstick and this time it is the Sunday Walk one. This is one of the newer ones that got released. This is the colour of Sunday Walk. It's a very deep, nudey pink colour. That's probably the best way I can describe it. Um, I'll just swatch. So that is what Sunday Walk looks like. I think it's a very nice transitional colour from summer into autumn, which is basically where we're at now. We're sort of in that transition. I have been using this sort of about half of the month. And anytime I haven't been wearing this, I've been using the other lipstick, which I'm gonna show you now. And that is the Charlotte Tilbury Valentine, which I think is very, very similar to Tiny Burst Sunday Walk. It's slightly lighter in colour, so it's maybe not quite as dark pink, 
but it's still absolutely stunning. If I'm wearing lipstick, it's been one of these two. So this here is the Charlotte Tilbury Valentine. Now that it's on, it kind of looks a little bit more peachy, but it is still absolutely gorgeous. So those were my two sort of lipsticks throughout August, which I absolutely love. Next up is another high-end product, which I have absolutely been loving. And that has been my go-to eyeshadow palette is the Charlotte Tilbury the Vintage Balm. This is going to be perfect for like autumn winter time and I don't know why I've been wearing it in August. I think it's just because it's so pretty not to. So this is what the Vintage Vamp looks like. So these two colours here are very very shimmery like they're like a foily style if that makes sense. Like this one here is like super foily and I just absolutely love it. It's really going to be perfect. Like these two are very very toned and very autumnal looking and the gold is going to look incredible with that in autumn time so I'm sure this will feature again in an upcoming favourites video so I'm warning you now it's just it's such a pretty palette and I like it because it's got your four colours in one palette you can just pop this in your bag and you're good to go finally the last beauty product that is featuring in my August favourites is a scent and it is the Zoella Beauty Gelato Body Mist. This smells of, let me get this right, I think it's pomegranate and elderflower, which is amazing. It's very summery, and you know we're sort of coming into August, is sort of that funny month where, is it summer, is it, is it autumn yet? But I've just been like giving myself a little spritz with this if I'm going out any, like just during the day, going to work. Like if I'm not doing anything fancy, just have a little spritz of this on. The smell of it is very, very nice. And I really like it. Like I've been using it quite a lot. I think it's probably one of my favorite scents aside from the original scent. The original scent, is it Blissful Missful? That one and this one are my two favorite scents so far. But this one is just perfect for summer and I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna have to find a newer one coming into autumn time, autumn winter, because I don't think I'm gonna get away with wearing a summer scent. So that was my August favorites. I'll leave a link for everything that I can in the description bar, so please go and check that out. And make sure you're subscribed to my channel because I upload a video every week. Give the video a thumbs up if you really liked it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.